Welcome to the Lee Etzler Show, a weekly wrap-up and analysis of Cherubusco High School football. Daddy Don Hyatt. Welcome to the Answer Show. I'm Don Hyatt. I'm here with Coach Etzler. Uh, we're going to talk Coach this week about the upcoming game with the Angola Hornets. Also, we're joined by Corey Miller and Coach Zach Dot. Stay with us. We'll be right back. We're the Bucks Go Homecoming Court, and you're watching the Lee Etzler Show. The Lee Etzler Show is brought to you by the United Way of Whitley County. BuscoNews.com and the Chair of Busco News. Welcome back. We're talking to the coach about last night's win over East Side. Uh, coach, your defense was again uh, phenomenal last night. Yeah, we've been extremely pleased with uh, how the defense has played. Uh, I, I guess the one thing in the first four weeks that is that is uh, uh, characteristic of our defense, we have 11 guys getting to the football pretty well. Um, our, our overall team speed, especially on the defensive side of the ball, is pretty good, and, and we're happy. Uh, we seem to be getting to the football pretty well. Uh, you know, the coaching staff's kind of talked, um, and although we might not have the, t the top end speed that we've had in recent years, uh, you know, our team seems to be getting faster uh, each year. Uh, of course, one of the one of the main things that we attribute that to is is weightlifting has become bigger and bigger uh, at Cherubusco this year. For example, uh, we have all but uh, I think two kids, freshmen through senior uh, football players, that, that are in weights class during the school day. So this is tremendous for us. In the past, um, a freshman was not allowed to take weights class so now we're excited about the opportunity for the our freshman football players to be in weights class they're going to be that much more further ahead uh, when they enter their sophomore year next year so uh, coach doc does an outstanding job uh, pushes the kids hard and, and there's a lot of things that that we are not selling to the kids anymore they believe in what's going on and, and younger kids coming into the program with what we do uh, in the weight room uh, more and more year each year uh, seem to uh, already believe in what's going on so uh, we're pleased with where that's at and uh, happy with our overall team speed and happy with the way things are, are going in the weight room especially. Uh, Coach last night offense again good on the ground uh, you had uh, Jason Nicodemus rushed for over 200 yards last night. Yeah, he uh, he played well. Uh, seemed to be playing at a faster speed uh, than previous weeks, so we're pleased with that. Uh, you know, we, there were some things as far as our, our blocking angles from the offensive guard position and our down blocks, and I think we improved in that area. So, so a few more things opened up for us. So, uh, you know, we need to get a lot better, but. Uh, we saw a few things to be pleased with uh, on the offensive side of the ball, and uh, you know, obviously, uh, Jason Nicodemus was was a was a high point of, of what was going on offensively, and he ran the ball pretty hard, and has proven to be uh, uh, pretty effective for us running the ball this year. Uh, we'll be joined later with uh, Corey Miller. Um, your thoughts on how he's played for you, and what's he like as an athlete? Uh, Corey Corey's done a, a great job for us uh, so far this year. Um, been uh, just about 100% of the time out on the field on defense. Uh, very physical individual. Uh, Corey uh, definitely loves the game of football, loves the contact part of football, and uh, because of that, we like him uh, pretty well. We're the Cherubusco Cheerleaders, and we'll be right back with the Lee Hensler Show. I lost my job, and I needed help with different things like prescriptions and energy assistance and stuff. So I contacted United Way. They was the first ones that I could think of. And I went to um, the agencies that they gave me a list of and got the assistance that I needed from them. Because I received the help from United Way, then I'm volunteering my help out to the community, giving the help that they need. 
Hey, football fans, do you want to keep track of Cherubusco High School football games? Log on to BuscoNews.com every game day and watch up-to-the-minute pregame, halftime, and postgame interviews with head coach Lee Etzler. Stay connected with your computer or on your cell phone. BuscoNews.com. When you can't make it to the game, it's the next best thing to being there. The Lee Etzler Show is brought to you by the United Way of Whitley County, BuscoNews.com, and the Chair of Busco News. Welcome back. We're here with junior Corey Miller. Uh, Corey, uh, great job last night. Uh, you guys uh, took it to the east side. Uh, your thoughts on last night's game? First of all, thank you. And uh, It was a uh, big task at hand for us. A lot of... Uh, preparing for a big metal battle and a quick offensive passing team. All week we had a few good sessions of uh, what we call Skelly. It's the thing we do on defense where we utilize pretty much all defensive players besides the line and we go through a lot of the passing and what we're going to see and what we need to look forward to on Friday nights. Uh, the defense, they are, uh, they've been the key to the Team this year, I believe. I mean, you guys hold a bay, you shut bay down right off the bat, you come out and get the big hit on them. Um, coaches preach a lot about uh, big hits that demoralizes teams, makes teams not want to catch the ball when they hear footsteps. During practice, we do a drill called pursuit, which uh, we all fly to the football, and that's one of the things that our coaches tell us the most about is uh, playing fast and playing physical flying to the football, having 11 defenders on the ball at all time. Um, on offense, you, uh, you're running back. Uh, you've been getting some good yards each week. Uh, how do you like the offense side of the ball? I like playing offense. Uh, I like to uh, block and help teammates get that extra yard. I also like to run the ball. This year I've slowed down and learned how to follow my blockers a little bit better than I did last year. And I look forward to carrying the ball whenever I can. What's it like playing football here at Cherbusco and for Coach Etzler? It's, uh, it's really a privilege. A lot of people talk about football and how they like football, but no one really understands. So you come play for Busco and Lee Etzler and Coach Doc, Coach Sade, Coach Schmidt, Coach Lordy, Coach Wright. They're, uh, they will push you in the weight room on and off the field to uh, come all that you can physically and mentally be for football and life, but it's uh, it's really nice to play for Busco's football. What kind of goals you got set for yourself and for the team for this, uh, this season? Um, for myself, I have goals of each and every day when I come to practice to get better and uh, be a better athlete be better for my team, and practice hard and get after it each and every day. Be smart, get your head in the playbook. Uh, we get uh, scouting reports, make sure we're reading those. Uh, the team, as you know, uh, the conference champs. It's one big goal that we're going to go after this year. I'd like to thank Corey Miller for stopping in and talking with us today. We'll be right back with defensive coach Zach Dock right after this. I'm Andrew Wagner, Athletic Director at Cherubusco Junior Senior High School, and this is the Lee Etzler Show. I lost my job and I needed help with different things like prescriptions and energy assistance and stuff. So I contacted United Way. They was the first ones that I could think of. And I went to um, the agencies that they gave me a list of and got the assistance that I needed from them. Because I received the help from United Way, then I'm volunteering my help out to the community, giving the help that they need. Hey football fans, do you want to keep track of Cherubusco High School football games? Log on to BuscoNews.com every game day and watch up to the minute pregame, halftime and postgame interviews with head coach Lee Etzler. Stay connected with your computer or on your cell phone. BuscoNews.com. When you can't make it to the game, it's the next best thing to being there. The Lee Etzler Show is brought to you by the United Way of Whitley County, BuscoNews.com, and the Chair of Busco News. 
We're back with defensive coach Zach Doc. Uh, coach, uh, your defense been real solid all year long. Yeah, thanks. We uh, we run the ball pretty well, um, and it's something we, we pride ourselves in is pursuing the football, and um, and we feel like we can put uh, a whole uh, a whole number of guys out there that can run the ball real well, and they've worked real hard. And, you know, we we played a lot of a lot of different offenses so far this season between you know uh, option teams and and spread teams uh, and uh, we our kids uh, kids like to play defense and, and we like to get after it so uh, um, it's been a lot of fun so far this season. Uh, last night, just about like every other game so far this season, you, you shut down the rushing game. They had one yard, one total yard rushing going into the fourth quarter last night. Yeah, we uh, you know we we stress to stop the run first. Um, and uh, we think everything else will fall into place if, if we stop the running and attack. And um, our kids played real well up front. Thought our defensive line played real well, and our, our inside linebackers uh, played well. And, and consequently, we played well in the secondary and, and really, um, really put them in a bind. Uh, they, you know, we're having success running the ball and getting them in uh, long yard situations. Uh, allowed us to uh, put some pressure on them and, and, and really get after the quarterback then when they wanted to throw. I know you had some concerns uh, coming from last year's team to this year. Uh, defensive line, you lost most with the graduation. Yeah, we we, uh, we lost some good kids off last year's team, obviously. Um, but we've had some kids step up, uh, and, and really they worked hard in the offseason and got ready uh, in weights and, and uh, summer conditioning. And, you know, we had. Got a lot of kids ready to play, and and uh, some some hungry kids, and we got you know quite a few sophomores and, and even a couple couple freshmen that are, that are playing some viable minutes for us. And uh, we're worried about you know the nose guard position, and and uh, Ryan Richardson has done a real good job for us uh, playing nose guard. In fact, I don't think they didn't do a real good job of blocking him last night. Um, and uh, and so and then Bryant Hicks. Obviously, playing real well, he he might turn out to be one of our best D tackles we've had here um, if he keeps progression progressing throughout uh, his next three years. So. Brian Hicks, he got the uh, he got that interception. Then on the next series, he gets a fumble yeah. recovery. Yeah, he when Brian has he has real good hands and um, he punches real well, punches the offensive line real well, and he uh, runs the ball well, pursues down the line of scrimmage, uh, plays with a high real high motor and um, you know Josh put a pretty good hit on uh, their quarterback and uh, kind of popped the ball up and Bryant had pursued because uh, the quarterback had rolled out and he pursued well and kind of caught in his lap but once he took off and you know it was just a host of uh, host of defenders out in front of him and it was a lot of fun and, and Josh capped off the, the touchdown with a big hit on one of the players to kind of spring him in the end zone. It was a lot of fun, uh, a lot of fun on defense last night. A little bit about your secondary. Uh, you lost the lane fault for the season. That's going to hurt you back there. Yeah, Wayne. Uh, Wayne, very good player. You know, started pretty much three straight years, and and uh, can't say enough about that kid. He, he's worked hard, and it's an unfortunate situation uh, for for him. It was a senior year like that, and uh, you know, it, it hurt the team not only uh, as as a player and, and being a productive player, but uh, you know, mentally and emotionally, it, it, it was a, it would hurt the team. And, you know, he's just a great young man. Wish him, wish him the best of luck and uh, hopefully full recovery. And, uh, but uh, man, what you know, what a what a sad loss that was. Um, coach Doc, you also you're the head coach on the track team, and you also run the weights class and do a great job with the kids, keeping them involved in the weights. Yeah, thanks. We. Uh, Weightlifting is a big part of, of what we do here, and uh, you know we have uh, six periods of weights a day now at the school, and uh, it's a huge advantage for us. Um, you know we have an all freshman, all freshmen are in weights now, and we got six classes of 27, 28 kids, uh, so we're getting stronger and faster, and, and working on our agility, uh, you know, speed, jumping on our feet um, all the time. And, and it's paid off, and then we have, you know, a bunch of those kids are, are on the track team. We're involved in the spring sport. We, we've been able to have a lot of success uh, in track, um, win, win the last two out of four years in the conference championship, and 
just a just a good one-two punch and, and making our kids better athletes in general. You know, not just for the fall, but for all sports. And I think athletics here is uh, on the rise. A big a big part of that is as our kids in the weight room and and working hard all the time. And, and we're stronger. And and also it uh, the weight room really really concentrate uh, our efforts in the weight room on being mentally tougher. And uh, when you see other teams kind of shut down and quit, and, and when bad things happen to us, we just kind of stay focused, keep, keep grinding away. And a lot of that comes from, from the hard work put in the weight room. Um, it's not easy going up, up there every day. Uh, it's not easy coming in every summer, but the expectation is you don't miss weights. Uh, you get in weights class, and, and we're going we're gonna, to uh, expect that, and our kids now expect it, and they love it. And um, it's kind of taken over in the school. It's really caught fire. Not only in the school, but in the community, and, and uh, we are a much better athletic program because of it, and uh, all of our sports teams are benefiting from it, uh, not just the football and track teams. I'd like to thank Coach Zach Bapp for stopping by and talking to us today. Uh, Coach Doc has been a big part of Cherubusco's success on defense and in the weight room. We're right back to talk to Coach Hetzler about the upcoming game with the Angola Hornets. The Lee Etzler Show is brought to you by the United Way of Whitley County, BuscoNews.com, and the Chair of Busco News. Uh, we're back with Coach Lee Etzler. Uh, Coach, uh, uh, big task with uh, Angola this Friday night. Yeah, they, they, they always uh, pose a, a pretty good uh, test for us. Of course, they're a much bigger school. A uh, lot, lot of talent on the, uh, on the offensive side of the ball and, also, and, and always very difficult for them to stop. Uh, you know, they, they, they've thrown the ball extremely successfully over the last few years and, and you know, they might be a little more committed to the, to the running game this year, but uh, with what they do on offense, we have our work cut out for us this week. Uh, defensively, we know they're going to have athletes, they're going to have some big, strong kids, so uh, we need to improve upon uh, you know, some of our issues that we've had on offense if we're going to have success moving the ball. So uh, we're excited about the opportunity to play them again, and uh, we like going there and, and playing at their place. They have a great facility and, and, a, and, a, and a great field, so it uh, should be fun. I'd like to thank the coach for stopping by and talking with us today. You can catch the show every Thursday night on BuscoNews.com. I'm Don Hyatt. We'll see you next week. This has been the Lee Etzler Show, brought to you every Thursday night at 7.30 by BuscoNews.com.